So first you're going to need your yarn. I'm using Yarn Bay Fetching Yarn in Citrine. And you want kind of a thin ply yarn. This is a four ply, so it is a medium weight, but it is quite a thin yarn. So you kind of want that or sock yarn for this. A stitch marker and you want a set of size 3 double pointed needles or you can use the magic loop method with circular needles. So this sock comes in three different sizes so we have small, medium, and large. So the video is shown with the small size and the other two are listed in the parentheses of the instructions below. So you want to start off by casting on 42 stitches on three of your double pointed needles and you want to put 14 stitches on each needle. So now we're going to be working our rib, so it's just going to be a knit one, purl one, and we're going to repeat that for seven rows. So you're just going to place your marker on the second stitch, just so it holds on the needle, and you're going to work seven rounds of a knit one, purl one rib. So once you have your seven row, one by one rib cuff for your sock, now we're going to move on to the heel flap. So for this one we're going to be splitting the, the stitches up in half. So we're going to split, so we're only going to work across 21 stitches. So for row one of our heel flap we're just going to knit across the first 21 of our stitches. And instead of switching needles when you get to the end, you're just going to continue knitting with this one until you get your 21. So now with your remaining stitches, you're just going to slide them onto your back needle because we won't be working these stitches right now. So you have these half the stitches that we won't be using and these half we will be working. So once you've completed row one of your heel turn by just knitting across your 21, now we're going to turn our work around and just work on our front needle. So now we're going to slip our first stitch and in this pattern when we slip a stitch we're going to be slipping it purl wise. So we start off by slipping our stitch. So once you've purled across your 20 stitches, you're going to turn your work again. You can even remove your stitch marker because we're only working the half. We don't need it right now. We can replace it later. So now on the right side of your sock, you're going to slip the first stitch. So remember to slip it purl wise. And then you're going to knit across the next 20 stitches. And by slipping these stitches, we are creating elongated stitches on the side of our sock, which will be stitches that we'll be picking up later. So now for row four of our heel flap, we're going to turn our work again, and we're going to slip the first stitch purl-wise, and we're going to purl across the next 20 stitches. And after this, you're just going to repeat rows three and four of our heel flap a total of ten times and that'll create our heel flap. Once we've completed our heel flap repeat of rows three and four ten times, 
Then we'll come back and start on the turning of the heel. After you've finished your heel flap, your project should look like this. So you have your heel flap here, your slipped side stitches, and you should have your cuff down here on the separate needle. So now it's time to turn our heel. So to begin that, we're going to start off by knitting across 14 stitches. Then we're going to do an SSK or slip slip knit decrease. So we're just going to slip our next stitch, slip our next stitch, and then come around and knit them together. So you should have five stitches remaining on your left needle. And now we're going to turn our work. We're going to slip one, slip the first stitch, then we're going to purl seven, then we're going to purl two together. So you should have five stitches remaining on your left needle again. Then we're going to turn our work. We're going to slip the first stitch. We're going to knit across seven. Then we're going to do a slip slip knit. Then we're going to turn our work. Going to slip the first stitch, then we're going to purl across seven. Then we're going to purl two together. So you'll see you have this gap here, you just grab the first stitch and the one next to it and we're going to purl them together. Then we're going to turn. So you can start seeing that your work is starting to pudge out and that is the heel being turned for the sock. So you're just going to repeat rows three and four four more times. Once you've completed your heel turn you should only have you should only have nine stitches left and your sock should look like this. So you can see that we have the turn of our heel right here. So now it's time to do the gusset and this is a setup row and the gusset is the is the part where this the top rim here and this connect. So right here is called a gusset. And we're going to be working that step now. So we're going to do the gusset setup row. So first we're going to knit across our nine heel rows, our nine heel stitches. So just plainly knit across them. And now we're going to be picking up those elongated stitches that we placed on the side here. So you're going to be picking up 12 of those. So you want to go in your stitch, wrap around the knitting, and pull up a loop. And you want to do that for a total of 12 extra stitches. So we got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now here, along with your heel flap, you should have 21 stitches. So then we're going to flip our work around. So now we're up at our cuff, and we're going to get a new needle. We're going to leave this one on the side. And we're just going to knit across our 21 instep stitches. This is considered the instep of our sock. So we're just going to plain knit across those 21 stitches with a new needle. Now with a new needle we're going to pick up the gusset stitches here. So we want to pick up 12 like we did on the other side. So even if you need to pre-count your stitches to know where to start up here, but you want to pick up 12 along here. So this is what it should look like after you pick up your 12 gusset stitches on this side. So now what you want to do is knit a plain row until you reach your heel stitches again. So once you've done your plain knit row around and you've done your other side of your gusset stitches, with that needle you're just going to knit five stitches from your heel. You're just going to knit five from here. And that'll take you to the center of your heel. So now this is how we'll be leaving our stitches from now on and this marks the start of a new row. Right here on this heel is when we start new rows. So now we're going to knit across this needle three stitches before our instep. Now our instep would be the top part of the sock, so where the cuff is. So we're just going to knit across this needle. So now once we're up to our three stitches, we're going to knit two together, knit one. Now we're going to knit across our instep, now for our second side needle with our gusset stitches. We're going to start off by knitting one. And then we're going to do a slip slip knit decrease on this side. And then we're going to knit all the way to the end of this needle. So now you've just decreased two stitches and that's going to help bring the instep, the top part of our sock, down 
to meet the bottom of our sock. So now for row three, you're just going to do a plain knit row all the way around, and then you're going to repeat rows two and three six more times. And that's going to help us bring our instep down to form our sock. So just repeat rows two and three six more times, and then we'll be back to do the rest of the sock. So after that, you're going to work your sock for seven inches or two and a half inches from your desired length of your foot. So then once you've done your seven inches of your foot, now I need to do the decreases for the toe. So for row one, we're just going to do one plain row of knit. For row two, we're going to start our decreases. So we're going to knit to three stitches before our instep. So we're just going to knit across to our last three stitches. We're going to knit two together and knit one. Then when we switch to our instep stitches. We're going to start with a knit one. We're going to do a, a, a slip slip knit. Then we're going to knit to the last three stitches of our instep. Then we're going to knit one, knit two together, then we switch over to our other side stitches. We're going to start with a knit one and a slip slip knit. Then we're going to knit to the end of this needle. Then for row three, we're just going to knit a plain row. After row three, you want to repeat rows two and three three more times. So after you've worked those rows, you'll see that you're starting to get the shaping on your sock. So now we're going to repeat so now we're going to repeat row two four more times, which will then leave us with 10 stitches and then we're just going to string them up like we do with the ending of a hat. And there you have your finished sock. So you see our cuff, our heel, our heel flap, then the turning of the heel. This method isn't my favorite for turning the heel, but it is easy and good for beginners. And then you see our gusset here where we picked up our side stitches picked up our side stitches and then brought our sock together the body of the sock and then the toe and then it's closed up just like you do a hat and you have this good shaping here and all you have to do now is weave in your ends for the sock and then do the same thing for the second sock so you have a full pair and enjoy your cozy socks I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you make a pair of your own. Remember, all the instructions are listed in the description box below, so go check that out. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.